Joined now by Tina Griffin, the counterculture mom. Tina, thanks for joining us today. Hey, thanks for having me on here. It's 90 miles an hour lately. It has been. And we're talking about Alec Vedmanon today. And if that's a name you don't know, here's his picture. <laughs> he is, this is something else, right? This is a, he's a performance artist who uh, focuses on gender. As you can see, he's a, what we used to call a transvestite. But it's interesting, isn't it? Uh, let's start here. When did transvestites, men who like to dress like women, start not shaving. I mean, have you <laughs> noticed that? That they're becoming less, they, men dressing as women are becoming less and less feminine as the days go by. Yeah, the only benefit to that is that I look at myself to make sure I did shave. Um, it's it's not a good scenario, not something we want our kids to look at. It's probably going to give my kids some nightmares at night if they happen to see his face. I lovingly want to say, though, I had high hopes for Demi Lovato, especially when she said she was going to get some help for her drugs, alcohol, stuff that went in her past but now she's completely a 180 she's using they them for her new pronouns she's announcing that all over social media her instagram she has thousands millions of followers actually with kids now being completely confused as a result and she's working with this activist alok with uh with promoting a message that is completely against what we as christians and anyone in general basically would want our kids to follow the problem with this is Alok recently said that he calls girls kinky. That's the problem. And he's basically saying, you know, parents, if you think your kids are never going to be kinky or they're living the straight and narrow, you got another thing coming. You've been brainwashed. Your kids should be involved with transgender, should be using pronouns just like this. And he's advocating for that, making parents look stupid. And a lot of a lot of people do not have a clue their kids are following these horrible role models, really. And it's even worse than that. If you look at what Alok, Alok says here, this is a direct quote from him. He says, these days, the narrative, because it's all just a narrative to the left, nothing is true. These days, the narrative is that transgender people will come into the bathrooms and abuse little girls. The supposed purity of the victims has remained stagnant. So he's basically saying that the little girls that are being ravished in bathrooms, they're not innocent. He goes on to say, quote, there are no princesses. Little girls are also kinky. It's not that they're gonna grow up to be kinky. He is suggesting underage girls, seven, eight, nine year olds are already kinky little girls, and they like having naked men. They like having boys and men in the showers with them. Uh, little, there are no princesses, even though he's dressed like one him right, himself right there. There are no princesses. Little girls are also kinky. Your kids aren't as straight and narrow as you think. That sounds to me a lot like a threat. That absolutely is, and it's very predatory. And the problem is we have these people right here that have millions and millions of followers embracing this lifestyle and telling young girls, if you're having this issue in a bathroom when someone comes up to you of the opposite sex saying and doing things that are inappropriate, it's teaching kids that this isn't inappropriate. This is normal, natural behavior. It's a very scary thing in this day and age where people are no longer hiding it. It's right in front of our face. What they're doing is wrong and they're gloating in it. Very scary, very predatory. And we've seen this a lot with uh, some of the people in the LGBT community making it clear they don't just want to live their lives. They want to force their lifestyle on others, including young kids, four, five, six years old. That's what's freaking the heck out of me this week with this story. Well, go back to that picture that we've been talking about here. Um, well, yeah, it is creepy. So these men, these incredibly predatory men, and, and, and I'm here. So he says, Alok says there's no such thing as princesses. He's dressed as a princess. Look at the, 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 the fluffy lace on his jumper. And yet, pay attention to what's going on here. Uh, we've, we've in the past considered transvestite men who dress as women. So almost like you can't even tell, right? The latest winner of the Las Vegas uh, beauty pageant was a, was a man, was a transgender man, right? And yep. you have a, a, yep. a, a transgender winning winner of the uh, Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition, right? These are men who have gone so over the top to look like women that it's hard to tell on first glance. Here, if you go back to a lock, you see 
see what. Look at those hairy arms. Look at those uh, Neanderthal eyebrows. This is a guy who is appropriating forms of womanhood so he can turn around and tell parents as a quote unquote female or transgender, I know better than you. I know that your little girls, your nine-year-olds, they're not princesses. They're quite frankly, little sluts is what he's suggesting. That is exactly what he's suggesting, and it and they're right out in the open. Now, a couple of weeks back, you and I both blew up in this. There was a recent song released by the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus that said, listen to these lyrics, you guys, and then I have an aha moment at the end. We'll convert your children. Happens bit by bit, quietly and subtly, and you will barely notice it. You can keep them from disco. Warn about San Francisco. Make him wear pleated pants, we don't care. We're coming for them. We're coming for your children. We're going try a little pride. We'll convert your children. After it aired, Western Journal found that four of the members of that choir they were listed on the sex offender registry. Guys, they could care less right now, and they're totally blatant in your face about what they're doing. They absolutely are admitting it. Now it's a matter of if we're going to allow it in our homes, allow it to ha be uh, ingested by our children with pop culture, TV shows, magazines, Demi Lovato's 4D um, uh, podcast here and TV show, we have to look at the fact that these little children in our country are looking up to these people as role models and as if they're speaking the truth. This has to stop. We must put a stop to it as parents and be very, very careful on who our children are following. What I think is going to happen, this is where they're going to be mainstreaming pedophilia. As you, They're already doing that. We mentioned the, the San Francisco choir individuals. What they're trying to tell you and what Alak is trying to tell you about your own daughters, we need to st destigmatize the idea that little children can't have sex. In fact, little children are dying to have sex with older men if only puritanical America went away. It's unbelievable, and I have to wrap with this. We must educate our kids about child predators because they are all over the place. They they attack our kids through uh, parent chat features, or I should say chat features in video games, and there's a lot of red flags, and I have to go through the red flags. So if anyone tuning in right now is thinking, hang on a second, that's happening in our home, dig in deeper. Here's some red flags. If someone's overly affectionate, playful with your kids, hugging, tickling, wrestling, holding or having a child sit in their lap, disregards no, stop, or other efforts from a child to avoid physical contact, long stares or periods of watching a child. I I'm not even gonna mention our current <clears throat> president that has been doing this over the years. They're notoriously friendly, engaging, nice, likable, look great on the outside a lot of the times, you never suspect it. Great looking life, well liked by others, ex and spend excessive time at your home with you and your family, it includes sibling, relatives, family, friends, neighbors, colleagues, we have to put the pieces together. Your child might be in a dangerous situation, or if you as a teen watching this right now have a friend talking about being attacked, sexual abuse, you must report it. All of this Dirt Dr. Duke, like you know, is on Freedom Project Media app. We also have the Counterculture Mom app. You guys need to download it, get premium. We pump out content like this all day long. Click on the alerts that pertain to your family, learn within two minutes the problem, get the solution, connect with other parents on our app that have already surpassed the problem and have solutions in their house. It's a great way to chat with each other through this app, the Counterculture Mom app, Freedom Project, Project Media app. Get them, download them, talk to your kids about these red flags so these people behind me do not have an influence on your children.